Hello, I am Dr. Mohan Rao. I am a practicing gynecologist with special interest in the field of reproductive immunology. We have our centers, Dr. Rao's Centers for Reproductive Immunology in Mumbai, Nagpur and Kuwait, very soon starting in Pune. And at these centers, we treat couples with repeated miscarriages, recurrent IVA failures and unexplained infertility using reproductive immunology techniques, especially lymphocyte immunization therapy and other immunomodulatory medications. Today, I am going to speak on a very important topic and that is what is the role of lymphocyte immunization therapy and active immunomodulatory treatment in in vitro fertilization or IVF. Lymphocyte immunization therapy, as I said, is an active immunomodulatory treatment which modulates or alters the response to pregnancy and helps in maintenance of pregnancy. And IVF, as you know, is an assisted reproductive technique which helps couples who have uh, difficulty in conceiving and uh, helps in the, uh, uh, completing their dream of having a baby. Now, before going to IVF, let's see what is infertility, the basic problem. As you are aware, almost 16 to 17 percent of couples suffer from infertility. Now, there are various reasons for infertility. There can be ovulation problem, there can be problems in the tubes, the tubes may be blocked, there can be problem with semen, either the sperms are absent or very low count and motility, there can be problems in the uterus in the form of fibroids or the lining of the uterus is not proper. Uh, and there might be external factors which act on the uterus like the hormonal problems like diabetes and uh, 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 thyroid problems and immunological problems. Now there are certain conditions where patients have to undergo IVF for successful outcome and these are, these are like say if the tubes are blocked, if uh, the sperm count is very low, motility is very low, then they are benefited by IVF. Certain type of ovulation related problems like severe polycystic ovarian disease or PCOD or PCOS. These are the indications where IVF is required. But there is a large group of patients for whom IVF is recommended and this group is unexplained infertility. So all these patients uh, are benefited by IVF. Yes, IVF is a revolutionary treatment for infertility and you must be aware Till date, almost 8 million babies have born out of IVF. So that's a huge number. Every year, 2.5 million IVF cycles are done and which results in 500,000 or 5 lakh babies. So that's a huge number. So let us see what is the success rate of IVF. Now, success of IVF is measured by different parameters. So let's uh, consider one by one. So whenever a patient, couple who undergoes IVF, after IVF when the beta HCG comes positive, then it's a chemically positive pregnancy. So that is the first step of success of IVF. But not all those with positive beta HCG go till term. So the second thing after that is what is called as clinical pregnancy. That is the pregnancy is detected on sonography or uh, uh, sonographically sac is seen or heartbeats are seen. So that is the clinical pregnancy rate. But not all those which have clinical pregnancy uh, 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 continue till term and take the baby home. So uh, after clinical pregnancy comes the take home baby rate or take home baby uh, uh, chances. So all those who have clinical pregnancy, some of them could not cannot continue it further and a smaller number only continues till term. So the two important parameters that are considered for IVF success are take home baby rate and clinical pregnancy rate. So let us see if 100 uh, couples undergo IVF, what are their chances of success? So if 100 out of 100 people, almost 60 to 70 percent of them will have positive beta HCG. That's a very good number. 60 to 70 percent have positive uh, pregnancy. But of this 60 to 70 percent, by the time they reach the clinical pregnancy stage, it, uh, it reduces to only 40 to 50 percent. So the clinical pregnancy rate almost uh, like 20 percent uh, of uh, those who have positive beta HCG uh, lose the pregnancy. Now 
of those who have clinical pregnancy that is 40 to 50 percent only 30 to 35 percent or to some cases 40 percent uh, uh, end up into uh, uh, a complete term pregnancy or what is called as take home baby rate so the take home baby rate of ivf is somewhere between 30 to 35 percent or in some cases 40 percent so you will realize that of almost 60 to 70 percent of couples who were who had pregnancy positive after IVF, at the end of uh, end of it, only 30 to 35 percent have uh, take the baby home. So almost half the pregnancies which were positive end up in uh, miscarriage. So that's a huge number, and that decides or that reduces the success of IVF. Also, if we consider those uh, couples who have not conceived at all after IVF, so that number is 30 to 40 percent. So of these, uh, those who haven't conceived at all, then there are two groups. There are certain uh, patients who did not have implantation of pregnancy at all or some have got implantation of pregnancy. The pregnancy has grown for a few days, couple of days and the growth has stopped. So that is leading to what, is, what are called as preclinical miscarriages. So either they have implantation failure or preclinical miscarriages. So again, those who apparently haven't conceived also may have a type of miscarriage called clinical miscarriage. So you must have realized now that IVF, though it is a very uh, important procedure and it helps a lot of couples, still there is a lot of a large number of pregnancies are lost after even successful uh, uh, pregnancy test. So what is the reason for that? Now it is a known fact that of all miscarriages, uh, almost 50% of the cases, uh, the exact cause for miscarriage is not known and they are labeled as unexplained and in such unexplained uh, miscarriages, there is a high chance of an immunological problem or what is called as an immunological rejection of pregnancy or an alloimmune problem. Now, how, why, sh why should we consider this alloimmune problem? What is the reason? So to understand that you have to go to the basics of reproductive immunology. Now when a pregnancy is formed, 50% is from mother and 50% is from father. Now the part which comes from father is immunologically and genetically different to mother. So the pregnancy that is formed is 50% different. So logically speaking then there should be an immunological reaction against pregnancy. <clears throat> but this doesn't happen. And also one more thing, in IVF many times donor egg is taken or donor embryo is used, in that case pregnancy is 100% different. But in spite of this difference, pregnancy continues without any problem. This is because of the special immunological protection that the pregnancy has uh, from in the mother's body so that it grows even if it is different. <coughs> so uh, in some women, this natural protection doesn't function properly. Now this natural protection uh, occurs through certain type of antibodies, they are called blocking antibodies and certain type of cells called as the T regulatory cells. So in some women, this natural protection doesn't function properly and that leads to a miscarriage. So therefore, it is important to consider immunological factor. Now, how will we come to know that in any particular case, uh, those patients who have failed IVF or th those who have miscarriages in IVF, they have immunological problems. So we can do certain immunological tests to find out whether the uh, particular case has an immunological rejection of pregnancy. The tests that we use at our center are uh, uh, lymphocyte cross match, <coughs> natural killer cells in the peripheral blood, estimation of uh, in, an inflammatory cytokine called TNF alpha. <coughs> if an endometrial biopsy is uh, done, then estimation of endometrial natural killer cells or CD57 cells. So these tests help us to come to a conclusion that in a particular case, there is an immunological problem as an underlying factor for the pregnancy loss. And then these couples are selected for immunomodulatory treatment. What do we do for these patients? At our centers, that is Dr. Rao's Centers for Reproductive Immunology, we give them a unique uh, treatment called, as I, what I mentioned before, lymphocyte immunization therapy. Now the principle of this treatment is that use when 
allogenic lymphocytes that is lymphocytes from any person other than the patient are used to induce an immune response they lead to production of blocking antibodies and increase in t regulatory cells so the lymphocytes <coughs> from husband or in some cases from donor are used uh, are injected into the skin of the wife and uh, it induces the immunological response for this at our center we use a special patented process which makes it a one time 3 hour procedure and after the procedure we ask the couple to plan pregnancy after 4 weeks the effect of this uh, treatment lasts for almost 18 months so during that period conception should occur at our center we have treated more than 1500 couples with this treatment with the problem of either ivf failures miscarriages or unexplained infertility with selected by the test which i mentioned just now and more than 80% of them have done well so the next thing that the referring doctors or patients ask us is is this procedure safe is it effective so yes uh, there are international studies which have proved the safety of lymphocyte immunization therapy people ask us this acts on our immune system so does it really, uh, suppress our immunity so lymphocyte immunization therapy or lit doesn't suppress our immune system making us prone to <coughs> any other uh, infections and uh, these large study there is a large study uh, conducted in germany by kling and where they followed 4500 couples who were given lymphocyte immunization therapy up, were followed up afterwards and what they found was there is no evidence of acute uh, allergic reaction like uh, uh, anaphylaxis and on long term basis there was no increase incidence of autoimmunity or graft versus host disease which are the common problems seen after immunotherapies also there are various studies which have shown the efficacy of lymphocyte immunization therapy in fact in our recent paper which is published in the american journal of reproductive immunology we have analyzed the meta analysis of Uh, various meta analysis of uh, of studies on lymphocyte immunization therapy and we have documented that over last 25 years the success rate or the odds ratio uh, shown in the meta analysis has kept on increasing and in the recent meta analysis the odds ratio is significantly high indicating the efficacy of lymphocyte immunization therapy so it is uh, a safe procedure and as well as it is an effective procedure so when should it be recommended in which patients so the patients the couples who have undergone ivf and they have failed and there is apparently no other reason for their failure so they should definitely be recommended for lymphocyte immunization therapy after how many failures again that is it is not worth patient failing multiple times we get patients who have taken ivf uh, for six times seven times eight times and then they are referred to us for immunological treatment so ideally maybe in a uh, couple of cycles if there are couple of failures then the patient deserves a new look at the uh, at her problem and immunological treatment can be recommended in certain patients even after first failure where everything is normal the embryo is of high quality the lining is good the uh, embryos have been genetically tested and still they fail it is worthwhile doing immunological treatment before next cycle there is a third group of patients where even before giving um, starting ivf uh, after failure of the fertility treatment maybe failure of iuis in patients who have unexplained infertility everything else is normal it is definitely advisable to uh, recommend lymphocyte immunization therapy before subjecting them for ivf so these are the conditions where uh, lymphocyte immunization therapy can help these couples improving the chances of uh, the success of ivf or some in some cases altogether preventing the uh, uh, chances of ivf before i end i would like to share a small story of one of our patients this patient came from far east from assam and she had five ivf failures she was referred to another ivf center in amdabad and uh, this center sends regularly to us for uh, uh, lymphocyte immunization therapy the failure cases so before doing anything that center referred that patient to us we investigated the couple 
and for they found that there was an immunological cause so we gave them lymphocyte immunization therapy and the patient went back to asa she was to come for uh, her ivf treatment after 2 months after 2 months i received a call from her from assam uh, she said doctor i am pregnant so i said very good when did you do ivf you were to do it after 2 months you did you do it early she said no doctor i didn't do ivf i have conceived naturally so she was a case of unexplained infertility who had failed multiple ivf cycles but uh, because she had only immunological problem which was corrected she ended up conceiving naturally and she has already uh, delivered now she has a nice healthy uh, baby boy so the uh, reason why i shared this story is it is very important to consider immunological factor especially in those reproductive failure cases where the cause is not known when patient um, especially with the patient has been recommended ivf before that it is uh, important to rule out immunological problem and of course in patients who have ivf failures it is worthwhile giving them a chance uh, with lymphocyte immunization therapy and other immunomodulatory treatments thank you so much